Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you how to make a wall coat hanger out of some railroad spikes and a piece of wood. So all you're going to need for this are four railroad spikes. It's fine if they're a little bit rusty or even if they're painted. You can clean off that rust later on with a wire brush if you feel you want to. You're also going to need a piece of wood. I'm just using a piece of pine here that I weathered myself underneath here as you can see. And I can do a separate video on how to weather wood if you would like that, just tell me in the comments. What you're going to need for this are four railroad spikes, a drill bit that is 11 16th, it can be a spade bit or any other type of drill bit, of course your wood, preferably something around a 2x4 shape or depending on how you want it to look, you can do other sizes. And you're going to want some sort of adhesive epoxy. I'm just using this stuff from Harbor Freight. It's uh, let's see, instant setting epoxy adhesive. So you'll need that for later. First, uh, you want to take these railroad spikes and kind of measure with this board right here. You want to see how far down you want it to go, like how far it's sticking out. So kind of mark that. Mark it at the very bottom. Piece of soapstone or whatever you know. Just mark it there and then cut it off on all four of them. To do that, use either a hacksaw or an angle grinder to cut them and just make sure they're all the same size. After that step, you should have something looking sort of like this. They're cleaned off and they're also all cut. They're not exactly the same length, but they're roughly the same. So as you can see, when this will be going through the board, it'll kind of look like that sticking out right through there. So. To do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark out four different spots on this board here. So as you can see, right around here I've got a little divot there, and right there, there, and right there. So those are centered in the board here, just four holes, and those are just made with a center punch. You don't need that, just an easy way for me to mark it. And that is where you're going to be drilling with your drill bit. So like I was going to be using a spade bit here so I'm going to line it up and just drill straight through and make sure you have it going straight down and again make sure it is clear. I think that's upside down 11 sixteenths. So in, it might differ by your railroad spikes if they're more rusted they might be a little bit smaller in diameter so just line it up with your drill bits that you have and you should be able to find one that's a close fit and just drill straight through and yeah I'll cut to after I've got them all drilled. And so for the next part here as you can see I have all four holes drilled in this piece of wood here all through with the same drill bit so now if you grab your railroad spikes you should be able to see the holes aren't perfectly the right size you know that'll focus on there a little bit tight and to fix that, because some of these holes will fit depending on the kind of the size of the railroad spikes here. So to fix that though, if they're too small, all you have to do is grab a wood rasp, or you can even use a square file or something for steel. It'll take a little bit longer with the file, but if you have a rasp, that'll be a little bit quicker. And I'm going to be using a circular rasp here. And I'm just gonna go kind of in these corners and just kind of go in like that, kind of squaring them off. So let me just do this one and then I'll show you what it looks like after. And this is kind of the shape you're going for. Not a complete square, but a kind of rounded square almost. Just as long as the spikes can fit through. And you might have to do a little bit of tapping with the hammer to make sure they get all the way through and that's okay. So just make sure it's a snug fit it doesn't have to be too tight because we will be putting in epoxy so you want to be able to get these in and out sort of easily before we put the epoxy in so do that with the other holes make sure it matches up for each railroad spike and yeah should be good then and I'll show you once I got those all done. So now with all the holes filed square we have all the spikes fitting in there and now we're going to take all the spikes out, keep them aligned because the holes might fit differently for each spike. So make sure when you take them out, you line it up with where it is. And then you're going to flip the board over on its backside. 
And for the next step, now this is the back side of the board here. Make sure you have any kind of loose dirt off and everything. And you can either, either use duct tape, scotch tape, or whatever kind of tape you got. And we're going to put one long piece across the back of all this. So it should look something like this. Let's make sure it's stuck on there. And the point of this is just to keep the epoxy from seeping out the bottom when we pour it in there. So now we're going to flip the board back over and make sure you have it lined up right. So as you can see all these holes have duct tape at the bottom of them all. And now I'm going to do one last thing just to be safe with it in case any epoxy leaks out and tape around these holes. I'd suggest you do the same. You don't have to, but since my board's already weathered, I would like to protect that look so the epoxy doesn't get on it. If you haven't weathered it yet or stained it, you can always sand it off the extra epoxy. So do as you want, and I'll see you after I have it all taped up. All right, so as you can see, I may have put a little bit too much tape on there, but should be fine, just as long as it's covering the whole thing. So no seeping epoxy should get on anything. So your board should look something like this, or if you decide to use tape, this side should be plain. One strip of tape around the back. And next, take your epoxy and just stick it in the holes. And for this step, I'm going to be sticking the epoxy directly in the holes, squirting it in about a little bit less than a quarter of the way in, mixing it, and sticking the spike in. So I'll skip to once I've got all spikes all in. And once it is done drying, the epoxy is done cleaning, feel free to mount it on the wall, drill some holes through it, even put a clear coat over it if you would like. Sorry about the camera not focusing, not really sure what's wrong with it, but you get the idea, you know, it's a nice rack here. So yeah, after the epoxy's done setting, and it'll say on whatever epoxy you buy and how long it'll take, so once that's done, feel free to mount it. Thank you for watching, hope this is helpful, and uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and have a nice day. Goodbye.